On Friday, November 3rd, 2023, at around 10.30 p.m., an Albuquerque officer who was out on patrol spotted an orange Charger driving recklessly from the Sunport Airport. An officer attempted to stop the driver, but the driver chose to flee. As a result, the Albuquerque Police Department's helicopter began following the vehicle. direct on that. We are uh, southbound 25 passing over Lomas. Vehicle still at minimum 100 miles per hour. Bypassed the first Gibson exit, but looks like he's going to be taking the second Gibson exit. Yep, taking the Gibson exit, which is going to put him eastbound. And we are 
Mulberry's eastbound Gibson through Mulberry. At University through a red light eastbound. About 90, maybe 100 miles an hour eastbound on Gibson. No, new, no units in sight, no units engaged, Muncie. Southbound turn on to Yale from Gibson. at the Sunport. I think he's probably going to try and go in the garage. That's my guess. Looks like he's heading in, like, into the airport. Like, the, the campus itself. Certainly there. We're underneath uh, where the departures would be. did uh, leave from that, he's on that roundabout, he takes him back west. We are uh, recording video for this right now. He's going to go Gibson now. Just came back out onto Yale, towards Gibson. Yale, northbound, towards Gibson. Still continuing westbound at Gibson. He's got like uh, just those parking lights on, so we just have the oranges up front, no tail lights. Uh, if you're talking about getting off at the like the first exit north, I guess I'm good with that. I think I know what you're thinking. Just went under 25, continuing westbound Gibson towards Broadway.
northbound turn onto Broadway from Gibson northbound. You're not pretty easy right now, so I'm going to head left. Northbound through Catherine. Bow. I couldn't get the speed right there. Through Dan. Still northbound. It's going to get a fresh green at Bridge. Slowing down though, looks like he's going to take an eastbound turn, eastbound turn ACC. And let's try to get some spike time if we can. Southbound turn onto Arno. He's going to make his way back to Broadway. ACC would be a good spot for spikes. Broadway again. Yep. Making a northbound turn on Broadway back towards ACC. Trumple. Coming up to a red and slowing down to make that eastbound ACC turn once more. I think if we just tried spikes there, uh, he went wrong way. Wrong way ACC. 48 guys, he's going eastbound in the westbound lane, just reverted back. Up and onto the freeway from ACC to go south, south on I-25. Number one lane, hope slowed way down. Gonna get off. He's gonna get off on Gibson probably. Gibson University, Gibson Broadway. If you guys can get there, he's gonna take that Gibson exit. to Gibson now to go eastbound underneath 25. Accelerated through, he just eastbound Gibson towards University. Looks like he, I don't, I don't know who's with him, but there's a different car trying to tag along. Black and color. Eastbound Gibson through Walker, approaching Yale. Number two lane. North or sorry, southbound turn on the yell. He's gonna go back to the airport. He's gonna try and ditch it now. Yell and Randolph still southbound, approaching the airport. Okay, this time he took the correct ramp. This one will take him into the parking garage. And he's gifted again. He's just going under where the departures are. If you guys get to yell where this loops back around, I don't know how possible that is. I'm not sure which is correct, but it's the bottom. It's arrivals. Yeah, bottom's your arrival. Okay, he's 
on the bottom. You're gonna come in if you come down the hill there and just hang tight where it merges out, he'll come right out to you. Sure, I'm gonna cut across. Just hold here. Okay, unit that's coming down from the top. Turn off your overheads. He's directly ahead of you now. Stop. To your right. We have two cars together. They're trying to go back west around the loop. Your orange challenger's still on the loop westbound, westbound through the loop, coming back towards Yale. There's a red car that has joined him. Making the bend to send him true west, and he's going to take the Yale exit. An Albuquerque officer attempted to throw spike strips, but they missed. I think that was a miss on those. We got to pre-deploy, pre-deploy guys, safer. Um, he's headed North Bend, Yale, about to get to Gibson. Bound turn on to Gibson. We've been through traffic, no units in sight, no units engaged. We did see the units for the spikes at the uh, state stationary. He might be making, yep, we're gonna go northbound on Gerard. Northbound Gerard from Gibson. Negative northbound Gerard along that golf course, northbound towards like Lead Coal area. Probably be a good idea if you guys post one up since he likes that spot. That's twice now he's gone there. Through Catherine, San Rafael, still northbound Gerard. Northbound Gerard through Garfield. He's at a uh, coal now, making an eastbound turn, eastbound coal from Gerard. He's still blacked out, uh, does turn on his lights occasionally as if he's looking for lights or signs. Eastbound call through Bryn Mawr. Northbound turn on to Bryn Mawr towards the lead. Westbound turn on lead, back westbound, westbound lead. Westbound lead through Princeton. Just went through a red light at Columbia, so westbound on lead towards the interstate. Through Yale, westbound on lift. Lead at University going to continue westbound. Spruce, 
slowed down a little bit for some traffic. Westbound on lead, almost to the freeway. Number one lane through Oak, coming up to the Pan American frontage. And he's going to take it northbound, and immediately hop onto the northbound 25. Northbound 25 over Central. Over MLK. Northbound over Lomas, leaning towards the uh, right lane. Like he's going to take westbound 40. He's on the interchange to take him westbound 40. Fully merged onto westbound I-40. All driving lights are back on. You stick it to about the four and five lanes. We are through 6th Street. Still westbound 40, number 3 lane. beyond Rio Grande, so he'll be crossing over the river shortly. He's hugging the uh, right lane there, so my guess is we might get a Coors exit soon. Coors exits, we are going to exit onto Coors, and it's going to be for northbound, northbound Coors. He's actually going to get onto Coors and not that frontage. The APD helicopter continued following the charger until it eventually ran out of gas. It's almost like he's coasting. Uh, he's slowing way down. Coming up to Quail, westbound, or sorry, correct, eastbound, eastbound, turn on the Quail. 49 only. Southbound, like if he's going to go to the Walmart area. This thing might be dying out. <laughs> he uh, made that turn onto Corona. Now Quail, going to curb it in front of 5143 Quail. Still slow roll, I'll update you. Okay, he's exiting, exiting. Quail, 5143 Quail, running on foot. Eastbound, 
down. He's from his vehicle. Hey, Sean, I-39-4, Austin at Paseo and San Pedro. Well, at 51st. Multiple vehicles racing. Taking a northbound turn on 51st. Yeah, 1570. I'm on 16. Oh, disregard. Is anybody on cruise yet, or just me and Elliot? I'm gonna look at the behind her. It's around to 11,001 Ibis Road Southwest. We have 1 BMA, 17 to 18. Black Hoodie and Black Hoodie. Another way back to the car slowly. 17 to 18. Black Hoodie Sweater with a female who's wearing a hat and a hooded sweater. You guys come Quail to Corona, take a slight south, and then take that first eastbound road. He's been PA'd with uh, force warning announcements. PD to Henry, 123, code 100. Alright, we're eastbound Corona now. Northbound Corona, 10 Southbound Corona, southbound. Corona, southbound. <laughs> Make your next left. Car should be on your right if you pass it. Go to the next intersection, look to your left, he's in the middle of the road. We have you on camera the whole way. It was you. Let it go. He's been forward. Let it go. Let your cell phone go. The whole way. You have to, okay? It wasn't me. It I'm what? Not to, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not fighting you. No, you're not. I appreciate you listening. Don't mind, please. Oh, Nick, you don't want to try to clear your mail. Hey, you can tell me who it was, and then I'll write a warrant for them, okay? Otherwise, you'll be going to jail for a felony aggravated Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Put it on mine. No, 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 no. He's mad at the wrong person. I, I promise. No, okay. I promise. Okay. You can tell me their from the park, bro. You can tell no, me their first and last name and I'll write a warrant for them. I took over this seat. Okay. Well you can tell me their first and last name. Stand on your feet. Hold on, one second. Hold this one. Let's check. You guys you guys gonna poke mirror me? Are you on a phone? Why? You know you know what? I'll Mirandize you, I'll advise you your right turn in just a second. You don't have to say anything to me. Okay? Uh, right, right, right. 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 The driver was identified as 26-year-old Jacoby Carrillo. Officers ran the plate on the Charger, which came back to a different vehicle, along with the vehicle not having any insurance. Carrillo was booked into the Metropolitan Detention Center on charges of reckless driving, improper display of license plate, and no insurance. Carrillo took a plea deal offered by the prosecution, which dropped the last two charges in exchange for a guilty plea to the reckless driving charge. According to court records, Carrillo failed to complete community service hours along with failing to register for aggressive driving school. 